Alrighty guys, hey there. Uh, as much as I hate to, I'm going to be vlogging from my phone for a while because my camera was stolen today along with everything in my duffel bag uh, which included uh, my wallet with my credit card, my, my debit card and everything while I was at the gym. Uh, so I won't be uploading yesterday or today's vlog. Uh, this will be yesterday and today's vlog. I want to say I didn't miss a day technically because I'm still uploading this video with the title of those two days, but still sucks because I got all my stuff checked today. All of it, including my infrared sixes, my pants, my shirt, my sweater, everything is gone. So starting over from scratch, might as well just move away and get identity protection or something. I mean, all my stuff was jacked. I mean, it sucks. It really does. I filed a police report, looked around for it. Somebody just really wanted something in there, and I think it was my shoes. I shouldn't have brought them with me, but I was wearing them today and went straight to the gym and took it with me. Should have put it in a locker. Something was telling me putting it, put it in a locker. I said, you know, it, it's. Uh, I, I was saying in my head, it would really suck if someone stole my shoes. But somebody stole my entire bag. Why couldn't they just stole the shoes? That's what I want to know. Of all things to steal, just steal the shoes. Really, guys, the shoes. Take the shoes. I'll give you the shoes. If you're going to take the rest of my stuff, just take the shoes. But no, you got to be a jack, an asshat about it and take everything that I own. Man. I don't, I, I wouldn't, I'm not, I'm not a spiteful person, okay? But I hope that something really bad happens to that person. You know, I take that back. I hope that they have everything in the world. I hope they have everything. I hope they're happy with their life. I hope everything turns out perfect. And then all of a sudden, I hope that something called karma hits them. I hope karma hits them so hard that they don't even know what happens. Because I'll tell you right now, I someone who can do something like that steal someone's stuff is beyond anything that I can imagine why I, I couldn't steal someone's stuff I couldn't do it I don't have the heart to do it I don't have the will the desire anything to do with stealing and for someone to just steal someone's stuff all of their stuff all of their personal belongings, all of their personal files, all of their personal papers in their wallet, all of their stuff. Man, that's a, that's a special type of person that really needs some help. And, you know, I, I just want to talk to them. I, I, I just want my stuff back. That person, I don't want them to go to jail. I mean, right now, I'm, I'm a little emotional. Do I want them to go to jail? Well, yeah, my, my revenge says, yeah, I'll send them to jail. But my inner person says, I want to help them. My, 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 part, my personality says, I want to help this person and say, and show them why what they have done is wrong. I want to show them what, the, what they're doing in life. I want to be their mentor because I can help them fix the things that they're doing in their life that they shouldn't be doing. And it really breaks my heart to know that people are in this position and are feeling that way that they do about things in life that they feel that they need to steal someone's personal belongings to have what they want. You know, it's enough, it's enough to really want something, but it's enough to steal it from someone who's worked hard, worked really hard for the things that they have. And for someone to turn around and steal those things, you are a low down dog in society. You are at the bottom of the food chain to me. You you are below homeless people, and below people. If you were if you were in ancient times, you would be way below someone with uh, leprosy. And if you don't know anything about leprosy in, hip, in history, read up on it. Leprosy. If you had leprosy, you were outcast from the city. You weren't allowed to be talked to by the people of the city. You weren't even allowed to be. Any, within a certain vicinity of the city. You were cast out on your own, forced to live off the land, and no one could help you. You were below that person if you still, for some, from someone who's worked hard for their stuff. And I'm a little bit emotional right now, I'm a little bit on edge, because if you've never had any, all of your stuff stolen, it sucks. It's like, it's like having your house burned down, basically. That's what it feels like, and it's 
there's words really can't describe how I feel right now about this whole situation. It's more than I can handle right now. So I'm going to go home. It's way past my bedtime and I've still got to go home, take a shower, call and cancel my credit cards, all of that stuff. And I just, good night guys.